Welcome back to part two of this tutorial on how to create a piece of work in response to the artist Marcello Monreal. You join me as I have um, just put in a load of flowers and continue to do so um, between um, the face and the mask that I created. Um, and same as I have been doing. I have been control C, control V, um, the various flowers, cutting and pasting them into the image um, and resizing them and placing them where I feel they should go. Okay, and I'm just putting in the last flower here, bringing it down underneath the others. And, mm, yeah, I think it would look better there instead. Such is the joy of Photopia. You can reposition as you please. Okay, right, I'm happy with that. Okay, right, I also got a picture of a leaf on a white background. Magic wandered away the background, so I was left with just the leaf. Control C, Control V. And in the same way as I did with the flowers, I'm adding leaves to create some foliage, break up the colour of the flowers with some green, and obviously adjusting the layers. You can put them between the flowers if you like, but on my tutorial I'm putting them behind the flowers, um, resizing, and then duplicate the layer. Obviously you can have a variety of different leaves if you want. I've chosen the one leaf and I'm just going to reuse it um, by duplicating it. Go to the layer, duplicate layer, and then you've got another leaf. Um, something I'm doing with the leaves as well that I wouldn't do with the flowers is I'm stretching them a bit so they're not all the same. Um, I think that leaves can take that whereas the flowers wouldn't, they would look a bit squished. Another thing I'm doing is just going to hue saturation and making them darker and a bit more saturated so they change colour and they look like different leaves. And I can move them around, put them next to each other. I go back to the original leaf, duplicate that. And maybe try one down here. And yeah, looking quite nice. Maybe stretch that a bit. Duplicate that again. Maybe put one up here. And you see I can kind of squish it and stretch it. And it's still, the leaf can stand it. Whereas a flower, I think, would look a little bit wonky. Okay, grab that darker leaf again, duplicate it, put it alongside this one. And I think one more leaf should do. So just duplicate again and plop it just under there. Okay, right, so now I need to start adding some depth to this piece. So a lot like um, Monreal's work, um, I'm gonna try and add some shadows. So double click on the layer, move it over so you can see it. Um, and we're using the drop shadow. And you can see a little bit appears. I want it to be on normal. Um, I'm gonna bring the opacity up a bit so it's darker. And then it's about fiddling with these um, three settings here to get the size and the distance that you want um, to make it look like an appropriate shadow. And you might also want to change the angle depending on um, where the mask is in relation to the face. So you want the angle to be right. Okay, and then you are more than welcome to do the same thing to every single layer of flowers, but um, I think that that's a little bit long. So I'm going to merge together about half of them. Right click, merge layers. And then I'm going to do the shadows just on that half. 
and pretty much the same settings will do. You might want to tweak them a bit, but in this instance I'm okay with it. And then I'm going to merge the rest of the flowers layers. And I'm going to do the same again, add shadow. And so you get three layers of depth. Obviously you can merge less and get more shadows in, but that's it. Right, last thing is the background. I told you I like this background, so I'm going to color drop so I get it. And then I'm going to create a new layer, plop it down the bottom, and use the paint bucket. There it is. Click on there, and that's it. My piece is done and dusted. And thus endeth this tutorial. Thanks for watching.